The 31st edition of the annual art competition had to adapt this year due to COVID. However, the lockdown seems to have inspired creativity in the community more than ever, with 230 entries received, up from an average of around 80 to 90. Initially, when we had the lockdown uh, situation, we, we said, that's it, we can't hold the competition this year because normally it's done open air. And uh, so we said no. But then uh, our staff members, especially uh, Tasmin and Jermaine, both got their heads together and said, look, why don't we ask people to paint a view from the house, a view from the windows, and uh, see what response we get. And uh, we did. We started... Uh, putting it out, uh, advertising it, and the response was fantastic. I mean, normally every year we get the average of between 80 or 90 entries. This year we've had over 230 entries. So it's added to the, to the situation, basically, because we've had to, co to collect all those 230 paintings, we've had to judge them, and uh, we've tried to keep it within a reasonable time to announce uh, the winners. There were four categories available with prizes up for grabs in the adults, juniors, children and infant sections. Uh, I'm sure that the parents enjoyed it and had peace and quiet while the kids were painting, busily painting to enter the competition and gave them a bit of respite of having a lockdown situation. A lot of artists who years ago used to enter the competition but then didn't have come back this year. People like uh, John Glandon, uh, Michel Stagnetta, although Michel does, is more or less a, a, a constant participant in the, in the art competition. Uh, and uh, this year the first prize went to Carl Alger with a view from his house in Prince Edward's Road, which is a uh, a beautiful picture, and, and the outstanding thing for me, it's, it's painted, painted on a cardboard box. It's not canvas, it's not uh, paper, it's an actual recycled cardboard box, and it's a brilliant, brilliant painting. The Heritage Trust has over 300 works of art from previous competitions, with the entries providing a snapshot of Gibraltar over the 31 years with this year in particular capturing an important moment in the rock's social history. Rather than being taken with a camera, it's done on canvas or paper or whatever. And it, uh, it, not only does it express the, the artist's view and perception of what he's painting, it gives us a record of what the area looked at. I mean, if we go back to the 30 years, there's so many changes in the earlier paintings to where we are now. The Trust hopes to organise a rolling exhibition of the works in future. For now, this year's winning entries can be viewed online on the Trust's website.